Hurricane reporter nearly hurt during live TV shot. Some journalists are only willing to go so far to cover a story they might be okay with reporting on the occasional thunderstorm, but they draw the line at furniture being hurled at them. This time, uh, this time Warner Cable reporter is not one of those journalists. While reporting on Hurricane Nate in Biloxi, Mississippi, this intrepid reporter was almost flattened by a chair that had been thrown into the area in which he was broadcasting. video shows the still unnamed journalist giving a report when all of a sudden a chair crashes to the ground mere inches from where he was standing. If the chair's trajectory had been a little different, the reporter could have been seriously injured. Luckily, he survived the encounter. Early on Sunday, Hurricane Nate made its second landfall in Biloxi. It was the first hurricane to hit the state since Katrina in 2005. Nate began as a Category 1 storm, but is quickly decreasing in intensity. Even so, it has caused much flooding and high winds. Officials in the state of Louisiana, Alabama, Florida, and Mississippi have declared a state of emergency in many areas. Residents were urged to evacuate. In others, a strict curfew was imposed between Saturday and Sunday. In New Orleans, Mayor Mitch Landrieu urged citizens to stay off the streets. Early Sunday morning, the National Hurricane Center announced that the storm's accompanying winds were at 85 miles per hour. It is expected to move across the Tennessee Valley and the Appalachian Mountains until Monday. As of 1, uh, 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Sunday, the National Hurricane Center had pegged the center of the storm about five miles north of Biloxi and measured its accompanying winds at about 85 miles per hour. The storm was expected to move across the deep south Tennessee Valley and center Appalachian Mountains through Monday. Hurricane Nate is the fourth major storm to hit the United States in two months. Before reaching the U.S., the storm devastated parts of Central America, killing at least 30 people in Nicaragua and Costa Rica. Fortunately, Nate is a Category 1 hurricane, which is the weakest on the category ranking system. The Trump administration has responded to Nate in a similar fashion to the rest of the hurricanes. Earlier, President Donald Trump declared a state of emergency for the area. While there have been no American casualties reported as of yet, it is likely that the flooding and winds will cause a significant level of damage. The establishment media does not want the American public to know it, but the Trump administration has handled these natural disasters effectively. From Harvey to Irma to Maria, FEMA has been fully prepared to make sure the victims of these disasters received the help they needed. Rather than report on the administration's efforts, the establishment media has decided that it is more important to find ways to use the hurricanes to attack the president. They have done everything from focusing on his tweets to claiming that the situation in Puerto Rico is Trump's quote, Katrina. When the media has to stretch this far to criticize the Trump administration, you know the president is doing a good job. Absolutely. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.